Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that how we can uh, add this uh, select event and we added this model here, right? So now the time is to work on this uh, inter title and save this into the database. So let's handle the click event, right? So let's go to the project and uh, let me make this smaller here. And we added this save btn and uh, this is the uh, ID of uh, title, right? We gave this a uh, title ID. So here, when we click on this, so I don't want to show this model, right? I want to first, uh, no, I want to show this model and then I want to uh, add a click event here. So which click event? So save btn. So when I click on this save btn, click, this is a click jQuery function. Okay, so you can read the documentation uh, from the jQuery and here I want to get the title, right? Title, with title. I want to grab the uh, title of this uh, title input. Okay, and this the well function will get the value of this title. So uh, let's console dot log it. Okay, it's a uh, title. Save this one. Give it a refresh and. Uh, Yes, click on this something save and uh, yes, it's returning this right. So now the time is to send this to the database, right? So before this, we need to get this start date and end date. So we need to convert these. Uh, uh, let me get this start date. So we need to also convert this uh, uh, convert this start object to a date. So there is a moment function right so we are uh, we added the movement to jscdn at the top so now we can grab this uh, start and here we need to call a format and, and uh, year i want to convert this year month and uh, then day right save this one and make this uh, console.log it's a start date save this one go here give it a refresh and check that is it returning and click on this and yes 2021 so click on somewhere else save changes and yes it's turning exactly what we want so now the time is to grab this and replace with this one console and here i want to get the end date right and this one would be also the end date right so now the, uh, our input fields are ready. Now the time is to move them into the database. So here we need to add uh, an AJAX call, right? So let me uh, copy this AJAX call function because I don't want to waste any time. Okay, let me paste this uh, function here. So let me uh, not this one and I need to close this uh, function array here and uh, here I want to also make this an error function here so copy this make this error and this would be the error <laughs> not this like this okay and uh, here we need to get this error okay so now we are uh, we want to pass uh, which attributes data attributes so I want to pass this uh, title start date i'm passing these variables right so start date and uh, then we need to copy this end date and date so i'm passing these three variables here right so i'm sending this to uh, ajax and here i am printing this response which is uh, which we are getting from the uh, getting from the controller right so where i want to send this I want to send this on the let me close this env and go to the web.php file and here i want to send this to a store method so let me create a store method so this one is calendar so let me make this uh, an index store right and uh, go to the controller and create a store method okay and uh, here let me create a store method uh, you are familiar with these type of functions, so I'm not going to explain anything because you are already familiar with this. So I'm saving your time, right? So here I want to return request and do all. So this all will grab all the inputs, right? And uh, one more thing we need to also add the token here. 
right we need to add the ajax token so we'll get the token from the um, from the from their attribute so let me add the meta attribute token so meta token so let me grab it to grab this uh, token and uh, the other one is uh, i need to grab this so let me go there and uh, which thing i want to grab this so i can't to uh, figure out this problem but uh, i know i caught this <laughs> why it's happening uh, i don't know why it's happening but it's uh, uh, happening due to any issue i don't know what's happening behind the scene so i change this route to index and if i give it refresh so it's still working i don't know why it's running this calendar so uh, maybe it's cached but i cleared the cache but still it's uh, not working so i uh, change this to calendar slash index so now it's working right uh, so uh, in the calendar called controller we have a uh, index and this one is calendar store right so it's throwing that uh, bed store dot not define it's uh, throwing this uh, from this ajax call right so let's go here and define the you know we'll define our route name so it's our calendar store so we are sending our request post request to store so give it a refresh and yes it's working oh our calendar is not there so let me check that why it's it okay missing something this one this one and yes we are missing this uh, calendar uh, this uh, click event to uh, closing tag right so give it a refresh and uh, yes our calendar is there so click on this and uh, enter some title testing title okay click on this save save and yes now it says 405 why it's throwing this 405 so check that post methods not get spotted for this route why because we uh, i added their get not post so let's click on this it will work and yes it says csrf token mismatch why it's mismatch because i remove this token when i'm debugging this so let me add the token again right so let me laravel csrf meta token and go to the oh not this one go to the stack overflow for simplicity okay open this stack overflow what's happening behind the scene okay 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 so let me grab this token uh, copy this token go to the meta tags and uh, here i need to paste this token and i need to also add this into the jquery here so i will get this meta token into the jquery from this uh, simple header right so let me later it into it so give it a refresh and check that is it still working or not and yes click on this uh, testing save changes and yes now it's not throwing anything and it's sending this request to the server and now uh, we are getting this response from the server right because we are returning all from there right so now the time is to uh, save this into the database so here we need to uh, first validate the data so here you need to put to uh, this validate we are not uh, going to create a new request uh, because uh, i don't have uh, i don't want to uh, spend time on this uh, creating a request and stuff like that uh, so we are focusing our main topic so it's a title and it should be a string right so save this one and uh, here it will oh why it's throwing this error so oh we need to use this request object not this okay and uh, uh, return pause so so now check that is it throwing the error server side? oh i why refresh this web page because it's a uh, server side validation so click on this so it will throw the error why 422 because it's throwing it's telling us that the given data is required right so now the time is to return this uh, exception uh, catch this exception and display it to the user right so here we need to 
first check that uh, uh, if response not response it's a uh, error dot to response json because we are getting this from json and then what is the name of this so, so it's inside the errors because we have a errors property here and in the error we have multiple errors so let's so demonstrate this error so grab this error i want to display this error in the title error i will create this uh, id in the top right so let me add this uh, html so this will get this uh, error from this uh, from this uh, title attribute. so this will uh, grab this uh, title the title field is required and uh, we are parsing this html to this title uh, error so let me uh, create this into uh, after this input field so here i want to create a span and in this span i will assign this title error and here i will class text danger so it will make this a red color right text danger save this one go back and here we are appending this so let's go here give it a refresh so now it will uh, display our error here so click on this save changes and it's still not uh, uh, showing anything it says error is not defined hmm. so let me go there error okay i misspell it it's a uh, error okay save this one give it a refresh again click on this save and yes now it's throwing the error catching the error and displaying it here right so now the time is to enter this title into the database so now our exception is catching and now we are catching the exception so now the time is to uh, create this right create this booking so booking now it's a create method right and here uh, the what is the method name so it's a uh, it's a name of uh, we are getting the title and stuff like that so let me uh, uh, shoot this into the next video because this video is going uh, long bigger so i will meet you in the next video